Yo, yo. Holla. It's episode 70 now that I think about Woo. it. That's kind of crazy. Yep. We're old men, Dylan. We've we're, retired. We're just old we've men. Moved, we've moved to Florida. Yeah. yeah. Like Joey. Yeah, like Who's Joey. currently on the move to Florida. <laughs> Uh, real quick, Jerry and Joey could not be here today because Joey's literally driving to Florida yeah. to spend the holidays yeah. with his family. Yeah, I mean, I, I, considering what the weather's been like, I'm not. I'm very jealous. Oh yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd not gonna, yeah. You know, yeah, not gonna just, pretend like that's not a good vibe. Like right a now. good situation to be yeah, in, yeah, just, for sure. And I honestly don't know what Jerry's uh, excuse is, but you know, not Florida. Maybe he's coding or something <laughs> in <know>? Florida. <laughs> yeah. Before we get on uh, on with the show, make sure to go ahead and like. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. It costs nothing. It's completely yeah, free. We- it's free of charge. And uh, and Dylan will tell you to comment some stuff as we go down. We got some cool stuff to talk about. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see what we have on the table, but we're going to play a little bit of a Trivial Pursuit-esque game. Yep. Celebrate the to do. end of the year with some yeah. what people love. And that is a trivia. That That's for like sure. Whenever we don't do trivia. I want to preface this is not the trivia tournament. This no, is this not. is not. This is, this that is, when that happens, this is it'll exhibition. be. Yeah, this yeah. is exactly. Yeah. If you, this is like an intermural yeah. right now. This yeah, is yeah, not yeah, a. Yeah. As, it, as the Brits call the friendly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, when, when the trivia tournament two or the trivia tournament. You see what mm-hmm. I did there? Stretch that out a bit. And the uh, the roots run deep with us with Trivial Pursuit. Yeah. We play uh, the video game on PS4. Of Trivial Pursuit. Like Played every it. other podcast we film, we go upstairs and we play the Trivial Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Dylan always wins in some bullshit fashion. Yeah, it's that but last time you won. If it isn't you, it's a computer, and I don't understand The it. computer won one time, and it was the funniest shit. Like, the computer popped off that one day. I don't yeah. know what it was, but the AI was just fucking Einstein-level shit. Well, that's the thing. You have Trivial Pursuit. I have Mario Party. Yeah. So, I'll take what I got. <laughs> we got to find a game for Jerry and Joey to be beast at. Yeah, they'll have them. Yeah. Or a trivia game, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So you want you want to get into this? Or do you want? Yeah, I'll. I'll I, th- I mean, I'm excited. I would rather do this first. For sure. Yeah. All right. So you want me to explain what we have yes. in front of us? This is a game called Trivial Pursuit Steel. This game is old as shit, Dylan. We have had this game, no joke, since I've been like eight years old. Good. So this might be a little dated trivia, but that's fine. We uh, love. <laughs> it's like when I brought the sports trivia from like 2007. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, it's not all one specific category. Uh, that being said, I have only played it like once, so I don't actually know like all the answers to all of these. This will be fresh for me. Yeah. But how it works is uh, we have two card piles here. One is like the regular Trivial Pursuit question pile, right? It's yes. Where you answer, ask the questions, get had the answers around the back. Iconic. And this is the draw pile. So this is kind of like Trivial Pursuit means uno type of, uh, yeah, type okay. of deal yeah so you, we have cards in front of us these are mine you know i don't want dylan to see don't don't look at the camera i'm showing the cam. no i mean look at that wall right now there you go so these are what the cards look like there you can see uh so there's cards that have wedges like the wedges in the game yeah and then there's cards that do actions so there's a steel card steel means I can you look can at them s- yeah cool. you can look at your own cards Steel means that you can steal a wedge from another player. In this case, you can steal a wedge from me. Oh, yeah. There's a double steal, which is probably like the craziest one because you can steal two wedges. Oh, shit. And then there's a block card, which blocks those actions. So if you have a block and somebody tries to steal, you can block the steal. Okay. Uh, whenever you do a steal, <coughs> no questions have to be answered. You could literally steal for absolutely free. So how the game works is when you start your turn, you draw a card from the pile. Okay. And you play a card from your hand. All right. You can play an action card or you can play a wedge, which is, you know, the different categories. Yeah. So how it works is if you want to play a wedge, you play the, the category and then I ask you the question and of that I category. if I get it right, I get the wedge? Exactly. Nice. The first player to get six different wedges wins. Very cool. Cool? Yeah. Lastly, there's a wild one and all that means is you can pick the category you want. Like if you don't have the card, you know what I mean? Okay. So you, you want you want to get started? Yeah, this is this is exciting. I didn't know this existed. Yeah, and that's pretty it's cool. old too. So let's so. You know, let's have you start. Okay. Remember you draw first. Bossy. There you go. And now you can play a card. Oh, fucking good luck here. Where do I place it? Just on, right down? in front of you. Okay. Oh, we're going to go with some history. Yep. All right, Dylan. Here's your first question. This is fun. I like in- this already. <laughs> In Greek mythology, what three animals made up the chimera? I I wouldn't know this actually. I I I I don't know all three. I'm not even gonna guess. You don't want to take a guess at all. A dog. (laughs) Is it like the is it like the mythical shit? Uh no, it's like animals. Oh okay. 
You got dog. Give me two more. I feel like a game show host right now. Dog, host, horse, <laughs> li- <laughs> lion. Dog, horse, lion. You got one. <laughs> it's uh the lion, the goat, and the snake make okay. up a chimera. So okay. It's a good try. I, oh, the, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I think I... <laughs> put the discard pile that way. Okay, where, where do I put uh, the... You, we just discard it. Like, okay. Right here. Yeah, cool. put, it, put it so we can keep them yeah, separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it Rip. All right, no worries, no worries. We move on. I don't know that. that it's not fucking history. And I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Let's that's, do. That's like mythology. Oh, I draw. That's right. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna start nice and simple. You know my favorite category. Entertainment. Yeah. So let's go. All right. Cool shit. All right, you ready? Yeah. Which Madonna album was released first? True Blue, Like a Prayer, or Erotica? I'm gonna go with Like a Prayer. True Blue is the Fuck. correct answer. I'm sorry I didn't brush up on my Madonna knowledge. <laughs> watch this shit be hard. <laughs> None of us are going to get any. <laughs> Let's be hopeful, Dylan. Can we put it the other way or no? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just so we don't see the answers. Yeah, sure. Just in case. I mean, oh, we're we not. Oh, to like yeah. refresh. Which I mean, we're not going to get through. Good, good call out. Good call out. We're not going to get through that. Not minute, bad. Go ahead. Do you want to you wanna go yeah. ahead and start? I'll draw a card. Mm-hmm. What does the wild card do? The wild, you can pick any category you want. Out of the six. Okay, and what's blue? Blue is... Is that geography? I think it is geography. Oh, okay. Give me, uh, give me geography. Oh, geography? I didn't see the question, though, so... No worries, it's all good. It's fine if you see the question, you just can't see the answer. Oh, okay. So I could, like, scout... Oh, that, that's, don't scout. That's, don't, a, me- that's don't a meta, be, though. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Don't be that guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fucking play though. the game normally. Okay. Play the game like the kids on the commercial play it, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, what European capital, I should have phrased that a little better, what European capital offers tours of catacombs containing six million human skeletons? I'm going to say Paris. That is correct. Yeah, I would have gotten that one too. I'm kind of mad, but of course, Dylan gets the fucking geography questions. So you get yourself a wedge. Keep that that in front of you so you know. Yep, You got one out of six. All right. Let's. uh, Very cool. Try again. Yes. Got another one, baby. What you got for me? What a faux fake band Okay. employed more than one exploding drummer. What? Can you repeat that question for me? Okay, so it says what faux band as in a fake okay. band. Okay employed more than one exploding drummer so what the, they're asking for the band the faux band what the fuck i don't yeah. know spinal tap yes it is yes it's oh, spinal shit. Tap. i was just thinking of fake bands yeah. good Let's job go. I gotta, I... good job that was a good guess i had a feeling you would get that honestly because like I, when i saw when i when i, I read got, the question i yeah, was like i got confused because i was like thinking of actual musicians yeah, like people yeah. like and then you were like wait I was, fake i was band. thinking like tenacious yeah, d yeah, and yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah all right oh cool oh cool tied one one very cool let's go dill what you got very cool huh Uh, I feel like I have to fill the silence while you're just thinking. Da, 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 da. Maybe with some sports. Hey, oh, of course. Hey, it's sports and leisure, so it might be some leisure. Might be some too, leisure, man. yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> In what video game would you find Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde? <laughs> Pac Man. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's like the video yeah. game trivia. That's like the video game trivia question. It's like that and like, what was the first game Mario was I hate was that. In? I hate that. Like, every other category can get niche as fuck. But video games, it's always just like, yeah, who is the plumber with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who right. fights a monkey ape man? Give me something good here. Um, What's better for me? I'll go. I'll try history. I'll give it a shot. What you got for me? The Chimera. Which actor... Bought the first Hummer made for civilian usage. I think I know this. This is we. I don't know how this is. I don't know how this is history. Is it Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes. Yeah, I don't know why I knew that. But nice. 
<laughs> That's cool. Split. <laughs> Thanks, Arnie. Uh, I, I would have not gotten that. <laughs> I would have been like, <laughs> like I think I know that stupid trivial fact. Filling in the silence while Dylan is thinking. Arts and literature. Yeah, yeah. We'll go all right. How, how do you feel about your arts? I'm not good. How do you feel about your literature? I'm all right with literature. All right. Well, we're going to hit you with some art. Oh, fuck. What British painter of nightmarish visions shares his surname with a breakfast food? Fucking shout outs to Sir Edmund Waffle, bro. Exactly why I'm fucking laughing. Uh, Wait, hold up. It's not that, but I know, I know. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What's a (laughs) fr. Give me like three seconds. I I, I think I want to like have a guess. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go like like Kellogg cereal. I'll go like Stephen Kellogg. Okay, no, the answer was Francis Bacon. Oh, actually. okay. I just wasn't expecting to see bacon. I thought it was gonna be like I don't know, like sausage or some <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I did, I don't I don't know that. Yeah, that I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know Francis either. Bacon. All right, all good, all good. I'm going to go with, oh, wait, let's see what I have here. It doesn't matter because I got the exact same card. We're going to go, bam, science and nature. Very cool. Science me up, boy. Okay. What is both a name for a group of jellyfish and a slang term for heroin? Fuck, what is a group of jellyfish? I feel like I knew this. Is it a pod? But is that slang for heroin? The fuck is slang for heroin? I don't, as you, I don't take heroin. I'm not really a this heroin. Is, it's also it's also an old game too. So think of like old slang terms for drugs. I tell you the truth, I'm not you gonna know? get it for You're heroin. Not gonna get it? But I'm gonna take a guess on the swarm of jellyfish, and I'm gonna say that they're a pod. So let's go with a pod of jellyfish. Okay. The correct answer is a smack. A smack. So heroin is okay. also referred to as smack. Got it. Got it. All right. All good. All good. Yeah. Didn't get the smack of jellyfish yeah. question, but <laughs> it makes. I, I feel like you should call them a slap. A slap. A slap because you know they're, like they're a little wetter. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like imagine getting hit in the face with a jellyfish. You ever been stung by a jellyfish? Ouch! What's that like? It's not that bad. Okay. I only got stung by like the little ones at the beach. Yeah. Um, but it just kind of feel like I don't know a bee sting uh-huh. kind of. Well, I've never been th- thumb I've never had that happen. Okay. Okay. I like that, it. but not as painful. I was gonna say I. Uh, I was literally just gonna say something about freaking jellyfish oh yeah i always used to think that jellyfish stung you like on spongebob like with electric shock yeah, yeah 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 yeah. so i was always terrified it was of like them. oh fuck that shit's gonna like, yeah i thought like if you swam around them they would just DC like electrocute through me. you yeah oh well, that's horrifying yeah right fucking spongebob shit fucking hit me up with some science oh you want a science too yeah all right i got a science question for you buddy what does ms dos stand for ms hyphen dos Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't remember this. I don't. Microsoft services. So Microsoft. Where? I don't remember. I don't remember what the OS stands for. Operating. Uh, Microsoft systems. Some operating system. <laughs> You're laughing, but you were fucking dangerously. Close. I know. I don't know what the D is. What's the D? It was Microsoft Disk Operating System. Oh. DOS. Come on, you know DOS games. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't know what the D stood for. Jose would be so mad at you. I don't know what the D stood for. D- All right, let's go with science and nature. We're just gonna be stuck on some science and nature questions this whole fucking game. Someone who is like a fucking scientist is watching this, just like Rigo. <laughs> What is the only U.S. state which grows coffee? Hmm. Hawaii? Lit. That makes sense. It's a weird state. It's not with us, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. all floating somewhere. What's south? What's south? Is there a reason for that? It's, like, it's a certain climate? Needs yeah, yeah. It? It's, it has to be like really hot. It has to be like tropical. Nice. nice. And Florida is like not enough. They can't do it in the Keys? No. Okay. I'm just curious. Just curious. I guess not. I don't know. All right, a little three to two action. I'm halfway there, baby. Woo! 
Wait, so I have the wild card. Can I like do, or is that just that's permanently a that's thing? That's a geography. Yeah. Okay. Uh, entertainment. All right. You ready? Yes, I am ready. I'm. I wouldn't get this. Fuck. So. <laughs> that's a bad preface. You can take a guess. That's though. a bad preface. Name the first three locations of MTV's The Real World. Are they like weird? Or are they like known places? They're like you. You know how the real world always oh. takes place in like a city yeah, or a yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, or something yeah. I'm gonna, like I'm just gonna go, uh, L. A. Miami, San Fran. Holy shit! You were two out of three. San so, Diego? No, it was actually New York, L. A. And San Fran. Fuck. And the, the only one I knew was New York. Fuck. That's crazy. Damn, I should have guessed New York. I thought you were gonna guess. No, New no, York I because I, sure. I I think of like housey beachy stuff you know yeah, i don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think of like no i think that was the first season was in new york oh yeah rip all right good shit i mean i'm giving you credit that was really fucking close uh, yeah yeah that was good. i'm no no i'm not, not like that i'm giving you yeah. props still and you put the credit back you say credit <laughs> credit is credit it's not the fucking uh, it's not the win uh, um yeah. i'll play a wild and hit me up with uh what, what i got history arts and literature Hit me up. Or no, geography. Hit me up with geography. Blue. From 1990 through 2005, what was the most popular major chosen by U.S. students graduating with a bachelor's degree? What were the years again? 1990 to 2005. Geographist. Uh, This is, I mean, it's U.S., so I guess that's why it's geography. Major... Man, what would have been popping back then? Probably like that was before the era of comp- era of computers and stuff. So, man, I don't I don't even know. Probably medicine. Like I'll go or no, I'll say law. That's what I'll say. The correct answer is business. Fuck, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Bye bye, wild. Almost. All right. This game is fun. I like this a lot, yeah. actually. I like this a lot. It'd be cool if we had Joey and Jerry here. You could play with more Bobby, people. Bobby, can too. I have an entertainment? Um, you know what? You can have an entertainment. You can. You know why? Because I can get another one back. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a decent that's a good, category. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right. It's my turn. So, wait. I, I, it put, goes on my thing? Yeah. Nice. That's yours. Nice. This game's right. good. Can I have an uh, that sports and, and leisure? For the same reason, you know, I figure you can get that back pretty, yeah. pretty simply. Solid, solid. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to take a card, so let me just do that. All right, so go ahead. <laughs> I'm fine with that, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have five cards, right? Yes. Just making sure. I feel like we're playing, like... Nerdy Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is not nerdy. Yeah, okay, Bobby. I need a. I need a history. You need a history. I need a history. I can hit you up with a history. All right. I don't know how the fuck this is history, and I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> but which of these metals is not magnetic? Iron, nickel, cobalt, or aluminum? Repeat them. Which of these metals is not magnetic? Iron, nickel. Cobalt or aluminum? Aluminum. That is correct, yes. Yeah. For nice sure. Days. Woo! Yay! Good, good job. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask. For- Man, how historical. I guess yeah, it's, I, know. I think it might be like the Iron Age, the bronze, maybe. I don't know. That's the, a big The history stress. of metal. That's weird. <laughs> Entertainment, por favor. Entertainment. Okay. What Madonna album? Who is the oldest Jonas brother? Fuck, I um it's Kevin. Yes, it's yeah, Kevin. there we go. I did, I know it by face. I had to go through them. I was like, Nick is the really yeah. famous one. <laughs> Joe had the band and then Kevin's the old yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Kevin had the the facial hair and can't yeah. sing. <laughs> Damn, get rocked. Yeah. Okay, so this is history and geography. Okay, so I have all the categories I'm good with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awkward silence. Ooh, science. hit me with the science. Yeah. All right. Dylan, 
do your science and nature question. Which part of your brain plays a key role in long-term memory? The temporal lobe, the frontal lobe, or the parietal lobe? Repeat them. The temporal lobe. Temporal, that one. Fr- okay, fine. Take your fucking life. <laughs> It'd be cool if I could say them, you know. Like, Don't. The fucking millionaire music comes on. And they're, like, <laughs> and they're like, No. Have you ever seen that? The guy who cheated at like, uh, I forgot what game show it was, but it was a game show in the 70s. And he found out that everyone could go at like the same time uh-huh. to buzz in. So he would just purposefully buzz in before everyone, anyone else could hear the question. And he would just take his chances. Oh, shit. So he answered, I want to say, 98% of every question in his 10 games that he was on because he would buzz in first when the, and he would get it right most of the time. But then sometimes it'd be, the host would be like, <laughs> like in the middle of the question be like you wouldn't be able to get this well you fucking did that to me right now yeah. all right a little four to four action here um what am i missing okay all right so let's go for my fifth geography por favor what you got for me which state is further west hawaii or alaska oh boy i think it's alaska I'm going to go with Alaska. Lit. Look at that. I got two wedges off of Alaska and Hawaii. Nice. Shout out to the non-continental United States. Really put, pulling it in for me. Yeah. really appreciate that. All right. You got to okay. be careful, though. I'm on my five wedges. Okay. <laughs> which one do I steal? Wait, which one do I need, right? That's what it's about, right? You need arts and literature and, it's weirdly enough, sports and leisure. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby, can I have sports? Nah. Ooh. So can I go now, or is that it? Nah, that's it. Damn. That was that's nice. Fucking it. That was nice. Bro. That was nice. All right. This is it then, right? Or unless you don't have the thing. You know what? It 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 could very well be it. It could be it. It could be it for the win, Dill. Can you hit me with a arts and literature? Which one is that? Purple. Mm-hmm. Which painter? The temporal lobe. Did You're wrong. It? No, sorry. That's it. Next. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> All right. Which painter inspired Stephen Sodenheim's musical Sunday in the Park with George? Who the fuck painted that painting? It's the one from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, I know the name, but I didn't know this is how like Matisse. No, I'm sorry. It's uh, George Seurat. Seurat. I actually know that. I didn't know that. That's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I thought I was that I could win. That was there, close. That was close. But it's okay. That was close. Go ahead, Dill. That was close. That was close. Uh, sports. Sports. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can help you out here. Weird. Do I know this? Fuck. Do I know All this? All right. Well, let's see. Okay. What digit does every Mastercard number start with? Four, five, or seven? Four. The answer is five. Four. Every visa number starts with a four. Interesting. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Weird. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting stuff. I'm learning. Learning yeah. some stuff today. Yeah. I like it. Put that sports and leisure back, homie. Put that sports and leisure, homie, back. Hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. Put that sports and leisure, homie, back. <laughs> Imagine we were playing wrong this whole time. You check the rules. Like, oh, fuck. No, it's, the only thing I was trying to check is because I blocked that card. Now I'm at four, and it says that uh, draw a new card after you play block. So I should be back at five. Uh, Just checking. I'm trying to be fair. I didn't uh, know if I was down to four. Okay. So I should be at five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And five. then you draw again. Yeah. Well, I don't have arts and literature, but I do have another wild. So, again, for the win. Did you go? Oh, yeah. You just got the master card one. Yeah. All right. I knew I was going to be stuck on this stupid category. What is both a book by Malcolm Gladwell and a term for people who reside at a distance from others? What the fuck? I read this. This this book is actually mad good, but it turns out to be false. Introvert, recluse. I'm going to say recluse. Correct answer is outliers. Um, I read that book and it's mad good. It's about how successful people are su- successful, mm-hmm. and it's about how like the Beatles before they got big, 
they played like eight now like 300 live shows uh-huh and that was like their hours oh, okay. to like yeah, get yeah. you gotta start somewhere man you know? yeah like what we're doing right now playing mm-hmm. trivial pursuit steel yep uh my turn oh no your turn yeah all right what you got for me buddy uh, what else do i need art right you need art and literature. Yeah, hit me with this nature. art, man. This, this, Jeez. this effort. This, this, this. Watch me give you the easy one. Yeah, I mean that one wasn't that bad. I, I, I didn't know it though. Do I know this? I did know this. Fuck. Fuck. If I, if I would have been mine. <laughs> Stole it. Let's go. Ah shit. All right. <laughs> what animal ends up as the ruler in George Orwell's Animal Farm? Fuck. I knew this. Too. You knew this? Yeah. I don't know if I know this. I never read Animal Farm. I didn't read it either, but my eighth grade social studies teacher told us about this once. Oh. And he even told me, funny enough, the thing that accompanies the answer on the other side. Mm. Elephant? That's your final answer? Yeah. The answer is the pig. His Ooh. name is Napoleon. Yeah. Napoleon the pig. Yeah. I didn't know that. Damn, man. If that would have been mine. All yeah. good, though. All good. I wish I could like steal one from you and that'd be the end of the game, but you yeah. don't have what I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, so that's an interesting strat because that means if you would have gone, yeah, 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 I could have just won oh, off that. We're learning. Oh, we're learning. This is, this is a meta. I still have wild still. <laughs> so let's try again. Which word is not found in the Harry Potter s- series? Hmm. Quaffle, Quidditch, Quarrel, or Quaka? <laughs> we, I think, I think, I think we know this one. Hold on, <laughs> I think hold we, on, hold on. I think we know this Can one. Can you repeat them, please? Which word is not found in the Harry Potter series? Okay. Quaffle, Maybe. Quidditch, yes. Quarrel, yes. Quaka. Maybe not. I'm gonna go with Quaka. You're right. Yeah, Let's you go. It. What the fuck is Quaka? That's the, the the little the little things that look like uh they look like um what's it called? Uh, Have you do you remember? Wallaby, ma- one of Australian mammal similar. Yeah, to they they look like kangaroos, but they're really tiny. All right. They look like koalas and uh, let's go. They're like a koala and a kangaroo mixed. That's cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Some, some Quakas now. Someone from Rooster Teeth, I remember when they went, they like visited them on like an island. It was mad cute. There's my six baby. I felt good. Maybe we'll play again in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually super down. That shit was mad fun. This is this is a good game. Yeah. <sighs> Very fun. What have you been up to, about, buddy? Yeah, so I just had finals week last week. That was all right. Mm-hmm. Trying to get my grades back. What do you and, mean grades back? Like to see what they were? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Just to see, because I have an idea, but like they have to like post them or whatever. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've just been fucking shopping for people, rapping. I spent like four hours rapping last night. Mm-hmm. I actually haven't done any of that. I still technically we're do we're doing this podcast on the twenty third. I have to go out tomorrow on the twenty fourth to buy like two last Christmas gifts. So, sheesh. Yep. Damn, that's a that's a hassle. I mean, I kind of have everything I need. I might have to run out and get like one extra thing. But uh, yeah, I was just rapping, and then at one point I was like, I'll just gift bag the rest of this shit because that's yeah, the strat well, for sure. Uh, Especially like when you buy people clothes, it's just like pff, there you go. Oh yeah, of course. And like my mom does this thing where like you get the box and then you wrap the box, and I'm like, that's a whole fucking damn. That's a whole thing. I, yeah. We uh, which we call it? We just had a white elephant. Well, it was part of the youth group with me, or part of the old youth group with me, Joey and Jerry, and them, and uh, I got a. I, I got a box with slippers, chai tea, and a blanket in it, but it was in a Pampers pull-ups box. So when I unwrapped it, it was like a Pampers box, and I was like, okay, cool. And they were like, no, open it. And it was yeah. one of those like, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, me yeah, type yeah, of yeah. things. I hate those. <laughs> Fuck that. You give me the gift. I want to look at it. Go, yes, that was nice. Thank you. And then you move on. You, you ever seen the videos where people put like the box in a box in a box? Bro, I saw one that literally just didn't end. It was ridiculous. Like I didn't know where this guy got all these boxes. It was insane. That's hysterical. Yeah. I definitely. I mean, if I had kids, I would definitely do that to them just to fuck with them. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Man, I was watching on the topic of like presents. I was watching the classic Nintendo 64. Oh video. my god! Yeah, what a yeah, fucking yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that kid was on Tosh.0, right? I believe so. I think they did something with them. I think they did a Web Redemption back in the day. Yeah, I think they did. I think yeah. they did. Yeah. Fucking solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, besides that, I've just been watching like, just some weird-ass YouTube 
found this one video it was like uh like one of the iceberg videos yeah but it was an iceberg of rabbit holes so it, it was just like like if you were like i would be afraid to research that shit because i would just be there for like 12 hours yeah just it was just like it was just like spirit. weird shit yeah yeah and the guy even doing the iceberg he'd get to one and be like yeah this one's not yeah this is fucking stupid <laughs> like you'll get to one and be like yeah i don't know this is just one thing this isn't a rabbit hole uh-huh. but then other things are like very convoluted weird. shit. yeah very weird that that sounds really convoluted <laughs> yeah very good though like one conspiracy trap into another yeah i mean it's more of just like you know like weird wikipedia articles uh-huh. type deal you know where it's like oh like how do i and then you end up just getting lost in Got it you it. know mm-hmm. yeah speaking of that i want to do the wikipedia race soon oh I'm hell excited. yeah i'm excited on the on the topic of trivia and knowledge that's something fun that we've been excited to do for a bit i almost thought we weren't going to do this podcast with how the fucking there's all this covid shit that's been going yeah on i just yeah i mean whatever and as, as we say uh, as we have said multiple times before the only thing that stops us is covid and snowstorms yeah and so we, that it always runs the risk yeah we got but, that, uh, uh, that Omarion variant real, yeah. really going strong out here. <laughs> My stomach is so hungry right now. Yeah, I mean, I ate a bite, like, devoured food, like, right before I came here. Because uh-huh. I knew that a situation like that would make like, What you gonna call me. it? Like, I'm at that point where my stomach needs to growl to get some comfort, yeah. and I'm just waiting on it, and it hasn't come yet. So I'm just kind of, like, in that painful limbo, like, come on, come on. It's fucking <laughs> bloop, you know? Oh man! Yeah. Speaking of trivia, your your gift has something to do with trivia. Really? No. Your Christmas gift? Yeah. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Yeah. Look at a little that. something, something. I feel like I really uh, I nailed everyone's gift this year. Did you? I fucking nailed. You've, it. you've been uh, you've been priding yourself over this for a bit. Pretty exciting. I mean, it's not like reminds me of me back in the day when I used to really put effort into. I mean, it gifts. was like I mean like legit like twenty five dollar limit, so yeah. no, no one expect anything mm-hmm. too special, but uh, you know. Got everyone a special something. Yeah. Yeah. I think I remember when I got you those joystick posters, nobody hung up. No. Great. Yeah. It was in my closet. And then I like, I was gonna, I moved to my new apartment, right? I was like, oh, I'm finally gonna hang up the joystick poster. Given, by the way. By the time I actually was gonna hang it, we had a different name. Yeah. And it was, and it we was don't even five use years little, in the yeah, future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I go to like, go to my closet. I know where it is. I go to get it out and it's just like ripped and teared Damn. at like eight places. And I'm like... That's that's what, what you do to my gifts, man. What could what could have been? That's what you do to the gift I give you of the thing we built together. That's crazy. With man. our with your own hands, you right. Crafted this with my own beautiful child. mouse <laughs> in Photoshop. <laughs> no, I actually want to make another poster, but I, I don't know what I would do. Because originally, what I Boy wanted band? to do, what I wanted to do. Oh, that's I actually have that age poster. I love that poster. Yeah. I never hung it up. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to do just like a black poster, like long ways of uh, landscape with the heads on them. But okay. back when we had like the colors, but we don't really use them anymore. No, so it's no, not no. like, yeah, so I gotta, gotta find something new now. Yeah. Gotta, gotta take some creative efforts on the channel. Can you make it like the really, really complicated script that's like impossible to read? I want that the joystick show. But yeah, it's like yeah, old, yeah, ye old script. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I got. And you. it's like I can't even you fucking can't even read see this what shit. it is. Yeah. yeah, it prints terribly. That's our that's our main logo. Yeah, <laughs> totally not a nice big. It's blue text on a blue background, <laughs> but like a lighter blue. <laughs> so if you squint, you can kind of make it out. Yeah, yeah. Colorblind test. What's the name of our channel? I feels it. I feels yeah. it. Man, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something along the lines of the holidays. Oh, what are you uh, doing? No, no, I, I was, was going to say, you. like, yeah, I have to go shopping for the gifts, but it's also, like, I have nothing to do for Christmas, so it's really right. not, like, it's not like I'm rushing anywhere to go anywhere tomorrow. Like, I'm just going to get up early. Yeah. I'll go wait on whatever fucking line I got to go wait on, but I'm not doing anything at all. So, mm, interesting. Yeah. With me, I just, like, I'm having it at my place, so it's, like, my thought is, like, weird that I'm not going anywhere. So, like, I'm going to be taking a shower. And I'm going to just be walking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't going to say it. I feel like most people either celebrate Christmas on Christmas or Christmas Eve. Is, is it Christmas for you? Uh, it's usually Christmas Eve. Got it. We usually, um, back in the day, we would do both. But like the large one was Christmas Eve uh-huh. and the shorter one was Christmas. Got it. So uh, what we did, though, got, you know, um, we were supposed to go upstate from my aunt and uncle's house, but they were exposed to someone with COVID. Mm-hmm. So they canceled everything. Luckily enough, we catered f- like a little bit of food for christmas day yeah because we go over to my brother's place got it so now christmas eve we're taking that food 
and just bringing it over to our yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. And then Christmas Day, we're gonna have like brunch or something. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's cool. What you call it? We usually do Christmas Day, which I think I don't even know. My, it's funny, my parents were upstairs trying to figure that out earlier, and we were like, what are we doing? And we were just like, I don't yeah, fucking interesting. know. Interesting, interesting, like, yeah. yeah. Well, because it's like you also don't want to do anything too grand at, grandiose either. Yeah, During yeah, COVID, you don't want to sure, sure. go to like a 40-person gathering I or whatever. I think we uh, we wanted, I think we're going to go to my grandma's house in Brooklyn for a bit, and I think we're going to do that tomorrow. But that basically means all Christmas, I'm not like yeah. doing anything, so... Yeah. We could have we could have done this on Christmas. Yeah, right. yeah, dude, I'm not doing anything. I'll play with my toys. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally, like the you don't see me for like three or four days after Christmas. Yeah. Like I'm I'm gone. I'm you know what am I doing? Fucking playing steep. You know I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing something. Playing with your toys, bro. Yeah, exactly. Oh uh, man, I wanted to get my dad uh uh the uh, the what you might call it the the ooze pens but the big ones the xls oh, okay. but they wouldn't they didn't come in time oh damn i, I was low-key looking at like getting him a uh uh like a not a knockoff but like a different brand but then uh, i don't know he has bad luck with vape pens they just all like destroy on him uh uh-huh. yeah you gotta buy him the, the good one mm-hmm yeah, I don't know. I always have uh do you, do you have problems buying for like your parents or no? Like, what do you think they'll like? or? Because mm. my parents I find pretty easy, but other people I tend to have problems with. It depends, though. It depends. Like, the thing is, is, like, I try my best to, like, give people thoughtful gifts. Hmm. And by when I say that, like, it kind of puts more pressure on myself. So it kind of, I make it harder than I really have to. Yeah. When I could really easily just kind of be like, he's my dad, she's my mom. Yeah, this, this is, is what, what they, they like. Want. Exactly. Yeah. The problem I have is that like, um, I always try to buy people like useful stuff. Yeah. Like stuff that they can oh, use I in, always, like, the every day. Yeah. That's like the go-to. But I like, I don't know exactly what, like what my dad's going to fucking use. So like, I remember I, there's been countless times where I buy my dad some shit and then I see, I'm like, oh, use that. He's like, oh, I use it like once. Yeah. And I'm like the fuck use it every day like, like i just i do my best to like hear people whenever they say like oh i want this i want to get me one of these and i'm like that's going that, to that's trap. The, i'm getting that like this comes out post christmas like better two times once she was like i want a cool light coat because i have like a light black coat but i want to be able to put like my pins on it or whatever so i was like boom i got i get her a, a light, light coat. white coat and then she's like oh i need new running shoes boom got her running okay. shoes like, you see what i mean like yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta trap that information down Mm-hmm. Not because like, not even because I'm considerate, but more so just because like I hear it and I'm like that will come in handy. One yeah, day yeah. In the and then when you're fucking stuck needing to yeah, buy something, like, you're yes, like, oh, there, right. yeah, boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Very true. It was a lot harder when I used to get you guys gifts too, because I wanted them to be like significant to you guys specifically. But it's like again, it's hard, especially yeah, when yeah. you're dealing with four different people. Mm-hmm. Uh, easiest person to buy for, uh, believe it or not, even though he changed in sizes a few times, uh, Jose. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I got Jose. He's not gonna fucking watch this. I got him once again. White Castle gift card, very solid. Nice, nailed. Always perfect. He's yeah. Easy. A White Castle gift card in Jose's eyes is like four times of value. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like you it's give like, it to him, he might cry. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> like, it's, like he'll at, he he'll legit hug you. He will hug you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He'll yeah. be like, bro. He'll yeah, give you a big hug yeah. and be like, thank you. Yeah. Anytime. Not for sure. Yeah. Damn, I want to hear what you got, everybody else. Yeah, I got. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'll tell. I'll tell you also because it should be here. I mean, I got it already. Uh, I got Joey a uh, Marvel vinyl. It's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy vinyl. Oh, that's cool. Like yeah. the, the yeah. music, the soundtrack. Oh, that's pretty thoughtful. Yeah. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, he'll he'll, he'll think that's sick. Mm-hmm. What about Jerry? Wendy's. Wendy's gift card. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Easy. I feel like you should have gotten Joey the Wendy's gift. No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck Joey. Joey gets something special. <laughs> and then I get a... Uh... Because like if I'm going to get Jerry something, I would be like, it'd be like a higher price. And yeah. I was like, what do I get Jerry that's like 20 bucks? I wouldn't want to get him like a light or something. Like, Where's my uh, where's my Popeye's gift card? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm waiting on. Get You're going to be so sad when it's not a... You're like, bro, you got me this shit? Fucking Joey reminded me. Joey uh, told me like last night that I think one of his the parents of one of his students gifted him a Grubhub gift card, and he was like, "It's it's just funny because I don't use Grubhub." And then I remembered somebody gifted me like a fifty dollar Grubhub gift card like a year ago. So I literally have like fifty dollars in, like, in Grubhub in Grubhub credit, and I haven't used. Yeah, I guess nice. Let's that. fucking yeah, yeah, order sure. some Grubhub, bro. <laughs> I have mad stuff like that. I literally I have like no joke. I think I have like. 
two hundred dollars in Amazon gift cards that I still haven't used. I just keep them in like a drawer because I'm like, one day I'm gonna make a big purchase and I'll use it with the. I mean, you should just what I do is I just like I add them to my I just add that to my Amazon balance Mm -hmm. and then it's like. No, that's what I, I do. I buy some yeah, shit, yeah. and then I'm like, oh. But I, I'm weird because like I I have the balance. Like it'll say, do you want to use the gift card? And balance? I don't balance. But I still don't. I use don't it. use. I it. only use it like if it's over like forty bucks. Yeah, or I don't like use that. it either. Because I usually just buy like little like thirteen dollar, fifteen dollar. And it's like yeah, yeah, and it's like if someone bought me a gift, I'm like, damn, I'm really buying a charger with this person that gifted me a gift card. You know, if I buy a gift card, if I get a gift card, I want to use that towards something like really nice yeah i don't want to like use even though it's money it's like you want to use it a wire yeah exactly and it's like that's what i end up using like half the time with amazon gift cards i also have like chain restaurants i have like three gift cards to like i have i no joke i have an outback gift card i I have cheese i have an applebee's (laughs) i have a a cheesecake factory i have like three or four so if anyone wants to go on a date hey i'm down for a beautiful date (laughs) i'm down for a blooming onion date yeah or Cheesecake Factory, we can get like... Nah, I don't fuck with that. The Cheesecake Factory, horrible nah, place. Fuck Fucking hate Cheesecake. If you're listening... Fuck you. Don't don't ever sponsor this podcast. We don't want to see you. I know you're affiliated with like three... Uh, there's another... They're affiliated... There's uh, one place... I think it's like Luxor Cafe or okay. something like that. Got it. And it's like the worst place. <laughs> it's like Cheesecake Factory... But make it more expensive and shittier. Got it. Oh, yeah. Weird combo. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a it sounds like the Ross for less of restaurants. Yeah, it li- literally, and it's like the, you walk in, like the the hostess is wearing like a dress. You're like, bitch, this is literally the worst <laughs> cheesecake factory. <laughs> and it's like supposed to be like their lunch spot, you know, uh-huh. like cheesecake factory is like the dinner and dessert place. Yeah. And then this place is like where you go for like nice lunch. It's horrible. What, what's your opinion on Golden Corral? Never been. Never been a golden corral. I've never been the golden corral. It's it's uh, all you can eat, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like I'm always down. All you can eat's always good. It, it, in, my it, eyes. I, in my opinion, I think it's a little overhyped, but I think I, I think it. it's overhyped because we live in New York. Maybe that and might it's be like it. If you if you go to someone who like. I don't know, cause it's like I feel like it's overhyped, cause it's like when you go somewhere else. Yeah, it's and always you're like, like we gotta hit up the golden corral yeah. one day. But yeah, it's it's cool. Like you go in, you pay like the flat f- f- price, and then like there there's different stations. Like there's yeah. like a steak station, there's a side station, a dessert, all this fucking shit. But like I don't know. The thing is, is I grew up on Chinese buffets. Yeah. So I love those a lot. Yeah, yeah, those I like more. Yeah. But I really want to go to the Vegas ones. The Vegas buffets? I don't think I've ever been to a Vegas Cause buffet. Because they're because they're they're set up like imagine Golden Corral, but it's like eighty bucks and it's all luxury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like they have all the different stations and stuff, and they're literally like showing you the food. I'm trying to think if I went to one. Or just like other like I watched this guy on YouTube who literally just does like food stuff, mm-hmm. and he goes to some of these and like some of them in like Indonesia where it's like you know, just like a ballroom of Crazy. just like a buffet fit place. Yeah. So like, that's my dream. If anyone wants to hit up a buffet with me in Vegas. after the Cheesecake Factory, yeah, not before the Cheesecake. Got it. After, but you don't want to go to. The, didn't you just say fuck the Cheesecake Factory? Now you're saying you're going to the Cheesecake. We well, have to go there. Yeah, I mean, oh, if I have the gift card, got it, got it. So. I thought you were so adamant about it that you would say like, fuck no, the no, gift no, card. no, no. I'd go. I'd enjoy it and still hate it. Okay. Probably, yeah. Damn, you are a fucking hater. I'll yeah. that. Yeah, or I'll order a th- the one thing I like. I'll order like. I don't even know. I'd order like nachos for myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the type of thing I do at the Cheesecake Factory. Like I don't trust any of your entrees. Yeah. Your frozen entrees. No. Damn, I could go for some Uno's pizza skins. You ever had those? Fuck, those are so good. Mega. Uno's has the best appetizers Word. ever. Ooh. Uno's has good nachos too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For a pizza place? Oh, that was like the one. Pl- I forgot where I went, but... Uh, I remember I met up with my ex manager mm-hmm. at the place the place I used to work in Manhattan, and I remember one night he was like, "Yo, after work, come to Uno's in Astoria," and I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> best move I ever made." It was like the appetizers, like I remember I pay I bought appetizers, and the lady was like, oh, "I'll be three dollars." I was like, "What?" what? <laughs> and I got two of them. Yeah, <laughs> legit. I was like, "Wait, how much?" And she's like, "Yeah, this one's three. It's half off, so this one's five. I'm like. Bitch, give me the whole menu. Give me fucking four orders of pizza skins. That's crazy. I would have been so Potato fucking skins. hype. Yeah. Where was the invite? Where was like, Bobby, you yeah, need to Bobby, get down right now. Bobby, come to this fucking Astoria. You're not going to believe this. You got an hour left. <laughs> You're not going to believe who's here. Pizza skins. <laughs> Uno himself. <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> it's his pizzeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one. The one. 
Well, no. Yeah. That was a joke. I got it. No. Yeah. Just putting it together, you know. Mm-hmm. If you want, there's a shorter version of this game. I could school you in real quick. Where we go for four wedges instead of six wedges. Love, love some good wedgies. Would you want to? You want to go on and try it? Now that we got the the basics and the mechanics down. Sure. Cool. This card we used already. To put it I put the, it in the wrong pile. Put it in the fucking bottom. I put them all together. We give them a good shuffle. No biggie. No biggie. No Tupac. <laughs> no, none of the rappers. <laughs> none of the none of the old rappers. All righty. So it says if you want to enjoy a shorter game with friends, you can go for four wedges of any choice that. instead of six. Sound good? Very much down. Awesome. Sounds sounds great. Let's get a really good like you know, sexy shuffle in there. Really hope you fuck Ooh. that up. You've done it. I mean, you're a magician. So I've only done more it than enough. Three hundred times. You know, you can start to do cool shit like that. Even though I didn't mean to do two. But yeah, no. but hey, hey. I'm still kind of cool. Geography. Love geography. <laughs> All righty. A one, a two, a one, a two, a one, a two, a one, a two, a one, a two. That's for you. That's for me. Would you like to go first, Dylan? Yes. Go for it, my man. What you hitting me off with? You hitting me off with a history? Then I'm going to hit you off with this. On what river did Captain Chesley B. Sullenberger ditch an Airbus A320 with 155 people on board? The Hudson? Yeah, we lived there. That's, I was kind of hoping it's, that'd be harder. Hey, it's a 50-50 question, you know? Technically speaking, it's a 50-50 question. It's, it's the east of the Hudson. I mean, you also have to know it's in New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that, that's pretty obvious. All right. that's did you ever see, uh, what was it, uh, what show was it where they had Mark Wahlberg on? And he was like at a party and like, the, I think he was like the bit and he was like, uh, his character was just like, yeah, if I was there, yeah, if I, like he's a pretty bad pilot. You know Wait, how he, he said that? Yeah. So he was like the, he was like the character on the show. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. He wasn't, but it was very like Mark Wahlberg fashion. No. Cause he said the thing about nine. Yeah. So, so it was a very, it was like a very similar comment where he was like, you know, fucking horrible pilot. It, it wouldn't have gone down. Yeah. 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 You knew, yeah. You know, you know what a good pilot does? Not crash into the fucking river. <laughs> Or not crash into the fucking ocean or whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's go entertainment. Entertainment. I did it again. It takes you 11,000 years. Just read the question. <laughs> I'm fucking dying at this fucking question, Bobby. I had to re... Bobby, are you ready for this? Let's go. Are you... Hold on. Do I know the answer to this? Alright, hit me. What host of The View wrote children's books about a Shih Tzu Kaka Poo Poo? <laughs> a Shih Tzu Kaka Poo Poo. A Shih Tzu. A Shih Tzu Kaka Not a Shih Tzu. A Shih Tzu, tzu Kaka Poo Poo. <laughs> so wait, is a Kaka Poo Poo a type of dog? I think it's a type of dog. The fuck name's a type of dog Kaka Poo Poo? I think it's like supposed to be like a joke book, no? Okay. I okay. think it might be because because I think it's like a cocker spaniel. I don't fucking know Barbara Walters. It's Joy Behar. Sure. Fuck. It's a it's a fictitious mixed breed dog. A Kaka Poo Poo. Yeah, because it's like a cockapoo is like a one. Cocker spaniel. A cocker spaniel a cockapoo. And then you have a Shih Tzu. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate you, Joy Behar. <laughs> She's the worst, bro. You All right. Dumb bitch. What you got from me, Dill? Dill oh, wants an entertainment. I'll go for entertainment. This is the one I, I'm bad at. All right. On what radio show would you hear about Guy Noir, the Catch-Up Advisory Board, and the Professional Organization of English Majors? Repeat that. I don't, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> On what radio show would you hear about Guy Noir, the Catch-Up Advisory Board, and the Professional Organization of English Majors. Oh, this is a radio oh, a show. I'm going to get... Uh, 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 Dateline. Uh, it's a Prairie Home Companion. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's probably like an old show. That's like what a, I'm assuming. Yeah. Like some okay. little house on the prairie type shit. I don't fucking know. I was, I was thinking NPR shows. Like, that's all I know. All right, let's just go... Try to get it out of the way. Hit me up with the sports and liege. 
What hockey team jersey does Cameron wear in Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh, fuck. Uh, that candle is mad loud, by the way. I've been hearing sizzling all day. Is it the Blackhawks? Chicago? Fuck what, what hockey team plays? I don't know. It is the Detroit Red Wings. Detroit. He's wearing Gordy Howe's number nine. Ah, never mind. All good. All good. All good. I don't really like Ferris Bueller's Day Off too much. Have you seen it? What do you think about it? It's good. I I haven't watched it. Like it was like one of those movies that like my parents were like, "Oh, you would watch it." I have like a. I guess it might be an unpopular opinion. I'm not a big fan of like John Hughes. Those like '80s movies like Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink. And just can't. Can't really sit through them too much. Interesting. Mm-hmm. You just don't like them, or nah, nah. Mm. not my uh, not my shtick. I don't. Th- I don't think I liked Pretty in Pink. It was on like MTV one time or something, uh-huh. and I didn't like it. All right, want a little science in nature? Nature. Ugh. What does the mathematical equation a square plus b square equals c square represent? Is it asking for the the sides of a right triangle, or is it asking Pythagorean theorem? Uh, well, you just said everything on the back of the card, <laughs> so the correct answer is Pythagorean theorem. It helps you figure out the length of the third side in a right triangle. So, congratulations Yay. on that one, dude. Great, great job. It's actually the, thanks, the, thanks to that Sokotoa, et cetera. It's actually the Detroit, whatever they're called, <laughs> the, the Detroit Blackhawks. <laughs> Fucking, let's go. Nice. Let's go with that. Take me to the promised land. Nice. In what movie is this line spoken? Hold me like you did by the lake on Naboo. Uh, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge uh, of the Sith. So I was gonna guess Star Wars, but, but I would needed, I would know. You I, I needed would, to get this. I would have never movie. gotten even the number. This is a little unfair. It's all good, you know. I would have never gotten the the. The fucking which third, one? The third one. I was gonna get Star Wars. Yeah, because it's not Naboo. Yeah, the, the. All good. I'm struggling here a little bit. Okay. Give me, give me sports. Oh boy. For the three. Hopefully, what? hopefully it's not one I know. But what celebrity was the most popular search term on Yahoo for seven out of eight years from 2001 to 2008? Celebrity. That's actually what I guessed. Tom okay. Cruise. Is that your final answer? I don't know. You answer very quick. Brad Pitt. Correct answer was Britney Spears. Oh, yeah. In 2004, the most popular search term was American Idol. That was when she lost it. That's what I was guessing. Dun, I was like, dun, dun, dun. Like, who was big in the early 2000s? Probably her. Yeah. All right. What I got? I either remember like when she died off, you know? Um, I'm going to go. Man, I really don't have a good looks here. I'm going to try geography. It's a little out my wheelhouse, but. Flywheel? what country hosts a festival where thousands of people throw tomatoes at each other Hmm. i I actually i knew this one is it spain let's go la tomatina you know why i know that (laughs) why tony ox underground too you can throw tomatoes at people in In, barcelona (laughs) la tomatina let's go we'll take it on the board Geography. Dylan's putting down a wild card asking for geography for the second geography question in a row. What president on Mount Rushmore sports a mustache? Teddy Roosevelt? The answer was Theodore Roosevelt. Sorry, we needed his real name, not a nickname. We cannot. Hold on, let me check the producers. I'm sorry, we cannot accept. Yo, what it. the fuck, man? This there are there are in fact two presidents whose last name is Roosevelt. You needed to be a little bit more consistent in telling us which one you were. But if that actually happened to me on a game show, I would actually flip the fuck oh, out. Oh, for sure. You know, like if that happened, and you, you know can go fuck yourself and keep that third wedge. By the way, it's my <laughs> turn. What the fuck? I can't even steal anything. This is like the worst part. I don't have anything like that. 
I, I keep getting the same fucking stupid wedges. <laughs> you keep getting you keep getting like an arts one to like tempt you or whatever. I have three of them. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, let's go with that. I guess. What long-time mysterious source was revealed as W. Mark Felt in a 2005 Vanity Fair article? What? One more time. What long-time mysterious source was revealed as W. Mark Felt in a 2005 Vanity Fair article? Hold up. Oh, okay. Man, I don't, I don't even know. I tell you the truth, I don't even know where to begin this. Okay, deep throat. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I know that through like uh, a Family Guy joke, actually. Yeah. Felt leaked key information about Watergate to reporters about Nixon in the 1970s. Yep, yep. There's an episode. Yeah, there uh, is. An episode of Family Guy called Deep Throats, and it's the episode where. Uh, Brian and Suey get dirt that Adam West is seeing Meg. Oh, which speaking of that, um, do you know about the guy who reviews like every he did every episode of The Simpsons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he just did every episode oh, of The Family really? Guy. He did it, he, and he did all was it nineteen seasons or whatever. I would just want to check like and that he, four and, season gap yeah. where it was amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he even said on that episode specifically, he's like he's breaking it down, and Brian's like, "Damn, I just didn't understand." And he's like, "Meg is underage." And yeah, he's yelling, he's yelling at the dude. I always thought that too. He's like, man, it's not okay. Not only is it government shit, which is like not cool. Yeah, where it's like she's seventeen, Adam West is like sixty. Yeah. Uh, fucking entertainment. Jesus, this is for the win. Which one is that one? Sports. Yeah. All right, this is for the win, buddy. All right, I think I'm still in this. Okay. What quirky designer is known for ending her shows with a cartwheel? Quirky designer? Yeah. Ends her shows. Chanel. The answer was Betsy Johnson. I don't I don't know. Is there and nothing else is there? Nope. Just says Betsy Johnson. That's it. <laughs> Bold lettering. <laughs> Don't have the answers. Can we get some video footage of Betsy Johnson doing a cartwheel? <laughs> Watch it be like a woman we know, or like it's a meme or something. I forgot to draw a card, by the way. Oopsies. I'm gonna. Can I draw like two next time? Yeah, go for it. All good. All good. Oh, is is Betsy Johnson finished her show with? Oh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, little girls. I'm gonna fucking horrify yeah, you right? with this cartwheel. Who is this? All right, let's. Oh, with a split. Like that witch of a woman now. <laughs> All right, shout out to Betsy Johnson, who's seventy-one. Not bad. Still in doing cartwheels. She's seventy-five. Still pulling those moves. Good, good shit on you, Betsy. And thanks for keeping me in this game. Really appreciate that one. All right. Fuck. Let's go. Damn. Can't even play that. Uh, I'm gonna play smart here. I need some wedges. I'm gonna put down a wild. Can I get an entertainment por favor? And hopefully it has nothing to do with Betsy Johnson. What's the entertainment? The pink. Yeah. All right. Who voiced the animated characters Sully, LaBeouf, and Pacha? Oh, that would be John Goodman. Yes. Yeah. That is right. That's good. I don't know who LaBeouf is. Oh, the princess and the frog. Oh. Can, right. can you stop me or oh, I have to I have to draw a card. <laughs> uh Bobby, will you be able to stop I me just with this double steal? Good, good. You don't even need two, you dickhead. <laughs> like me. Playing for four. <laughs> Bro, okay, can we play to six just because I haven't gotten any of those fucking cards? You can take them. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So what's the one I need? Arts and Arts and literature. <laughs> wow, that sucks. I literally, no joke, I have not pulled one steal, <laughs> one double steal, one block. It's all wild. Horrible. Let's see if I could even fucking. Oh, oh boom. Let's fucking go. Can I like stop? Which one do you want? Give me um fuck, what's the hardest? Give me uh me sports and literature and leisure. Just one of your wilds. 
Yeah. All right, cool. Cool. I'm fine with that. Still in this. Very nice. Your turn. I really wish I had another steal. Um, wait, which one do I need now? Sports and leisure? Yeah. Um, and arts. Okay. Hit me with uh, sports. I got you, bro. What famous wooden roller coaster is located at Coney Island? Yeah, another New York question. The Cyclone. Yep, good Woo. for you. All right. Ha ha. All fun. <laughs> Bobby's getting the hardest <laughs> fucking questions. Um, I'll go for geography. What are the two official languages of Hong Kong? Chinese and English? No. Chinese and... No, that was... That was I'll uh, give you it. Chinese and it's English. Cantonese, Chinese. Oh. As opposed to Mandarin. Got it. Yeah. I'll give you it, though. What was the second? What? English. Oh, okay. Yeah. So fucking give it to me, bro. Yeah. I said it. Yeah. Cantonese. You said, you said Chinese, so... Thank, I'll, thank, I appreciate it for not being a stickler. No, imagine... <laughs> which one? Which one? <laughs> Go ahead. Can you pull an arts and, and literature? No. So what happens? That's it. I can't go. I, I don't. I don't. I don't really know to be honest. <laughs> okay. I mean, you could play one for fun. Can I, can I have one for fun? Yeah. For sure. Can yeah. I do another history, bro? Yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what U.S. president shared the White House with a pet snake named Emily Spinach? <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> That's made up. What, what president chilled out with Emily Spinach the snake? <laughs> it's got to be one of the newer ones, right? Or is it like one of the older ones? Can you at least give me that? Do you know? It's for fun. Just a- answer the fucking, fucking question. Uh, Gerald Ford. It's actually Theodore Roosevelt. Fuck. Good old Teddy. His teenage daughter Alice sometimes wore the snake around her neck. Uh, okay, that's going to make sense. He's like the nature guy. All right. Uh, let's go with... <laughs> Arts and literature. We'll shake it up. See if you could steal it. You know. <clears throat> I forgot to take a card. A Hulk of what primary color was introduced by Marvel in 2007? That'd be green. Two in 2007. Oh, fuck red. Yeah. I'll give. I'll give you. Doesn't hear the year. Yeah. <laughs> you know the Hulk from 2007. No, well, the Green Hulk just came out. Edward Norton is the Hulk, bro. Yeah. What's the what's the what's art? Is that the which one? That's purple, but yeah. Or so this is for the win. Yeah. <laughs> so this doesn't count, but what is both a book by Malcolm Gladwell and a term for people <laughs> who reside at a distance from others? Hey, recklessness. Is- <laughs> Fuck you! I was just crazy. We got that. All right. All right, I'm happy I got oh, that. You won. might, you might. Uh, oh, let's see if you know this. Okay, what musical surpassed Cats in 2006 as the longest-running show on Broadway? Phantom of the Opera. Fuck yeah, it is. Congratulations. Woo! I feel like that's a real toss-up between that and Lion King, so I wanted to see which one you went with. Congrats, we both took one. We're gonna have to. Uh, this is a good warm-up. We're gonna this have to tie-break this sometime. Yeah, when you, I mean, we could do it at any time. I want to do it like really nice, though. You know. Yeah. Like when when we do the next trivia oh, when tournament. We do the tournament. I yeah. want it to look so fucking professionally. For sure, well done. that's gonna be a thing. Don't worry. And just like that, that's an episode of the show. Woo! Done. Uh, yeah. Two rounds of Trivial Pursuit Steel, talking about the holidays. That was a fun one. Yeah. That, was, that was a nice little. Yeah, everyone. Uh, also, the New Year is coming up. Don't look at that, by the way. That's uh, that's not my doing. Yeah. That's uh, that's Dylan's I mean, creativity. Do you, do you not do you know do you not know about Newy ears? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's Newy ears ass. No, it's uh, it's uh, oh, it's Newy ear sass. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Newly, it's supposed to be newly <laughs> ear sass. Oh, you're 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 enjoying this too much, dude. Uh, or or it should be it should be New Year New Ass. New Year New Ass. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Anyway, thanks for joining us here for episode 70 that was a good one. of the Joystick Show. That was a good one. Uh, yeah. Sorry the other boys couldn't be here. It would have been fun to be able to play this with them, but maybe they'll join us next time. We should FaceTime trivia with Florida with Joey. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think he's still like driving yeah, to yeah, Florida. Yeah. He's, like, Which he's like sleeping in the car. Probably right? like in Georgia at this point. Uh, make sure to go ahead and like. Make sure to subscribe. It's completely free, and it helps us a huge amount. We're trying to get to a much higher number and get ready to see some more fun uh you know content kind of like this just having fun Funny playing games, games and games and some sports and leisure 
some sports and leisure, some Mainly arts and literature, leisure. some science and nature. Uh, what are they commenting? This um, week, I was gonna say uh, like New Year's resolution. That's pretty good actually, but that's pretty fucking lame. So I'm gonna say, what's your fav- favorite trivia slash board game? Oh, I like that. Yeah. What is your favorite trivia? Because there's a lot of game. different trivia games. Trivia too. slash board like slash little, card. You know, yeah, just, card. All of them. You know, all, table all game. Included. You know, game that you play with people that you like. Exactly. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. And, we we uh, we never did jam and yam. Yeah. Fuck man. This is, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> we the weird format. The weird episode up. where we do the outro before oh, the, the jam, jam and yam. yam. I, I mean, right, I have. Guys, see you next time. I have my jam. I I can pull it out right right here. Uh, jam of the week is gonna be Five Ways by Shakewell. And that's that vibey ass song. If you if you trying to die, pick your poison. I got five ways. Also, a very fun music video. Mm, nice. What are you thinking? My yam is a uh, repeat uh, artist, uh, Agony by Rory404. Rory404. Very new rest. new album came out. Nice. Very good. Um, a lot of repeats, but this one song is very solid. I want to know who does his guitar because uh, maybe he does it, uh-huh. but his guitar is always out of this world. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I want to see if that's him or if it's like already in the beat when he gets it. Oh, you know? I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So go ahead and check out Shakewell and Roy 404 for your Jam and Yam of the week. Mm-hmm. And uh, now we can close with the Actually outro. Actually fucking leave. Make sure to comment your favorite cardboard table game. Yeah. And, uh, and other than that, just enjoy your New Year's. Have a safe one out there. I hope Maybe. you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely in times like this, be safe. For sure, be safe. You know, I'm not going to be the, the grandpa to tell you to do, you know, just be, a, just be a responsible adult and do what you think is necessary. And other than that. Uh, ho ho ho! Fuck, that's the wrong holiday. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas. Oh, okay. What, what holiday we're we doing? New Year's, fucking. Um, um okay. Uh, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.